Let the good times roll. Hey, wise guys, it's Mafia Game Videos, and I got some new information to share with you regarding Mafia 4. According to a new LinkedIn job listing, Hangar 13 Games' Brighton United Kingdom studio is looking for a principal designer AI. According to the job's description, Hangar 13 is in search of an experienced and highly skilled AI designer who has a passion for creating engaging AI systems and behaviors that provide great gameplay and really help sell the fantasy of the game. They will drive the creation of AI systems, archetypes, and behaviors from prototype through to release for the next iteration of the Mafia franchise. Furthermore, in the What You Will Do section, it says, you will work closely with the AI lead and relevant stakeholders to ensure delivery of engaging stealth and combat gameplay loops, hands-on design and development of our combat and non-combat NPCs, design new archetypes that fit the vision of a Mafia game all the way from creative and technical design prototypes to enemy behaviors and abilities. Ensure that players can understand AI intention and plan their combat accordingly. And on the bottom of the who we think will be a good fit section, it says, experience with Unreal Engine 4 or 5. This is the first Hangar 13 job listing to officially mention the next Mafia game and Unreal Engine together. Prior to this job listing, it was speculated by Kotaku on May 5, 2022, that the next Mafia game, codenamed Nero, was in development, and the plan was to make it in Unreal Engine 5. It seems this LinkedIn job listing vindicates Kotaku's article from last year. Mafia, the city of Lost Heaven from 2002 was built on the LS3D engine. Mafia 2 from 2010 was built on Illusion Engine. Mafia 3 from 2016 and Mafia Definitive Edition from 2020 were both built on Fusion Engine, which is an updated version of Illusion Engine. Mafia 4 will be the first Mafia game to be on Unreal Engine. The choice to use Unreal Engine 5 for the development of Mafia 4 appears to be motivated by considerations of time and efficiency. There are considerably far more resources available online for Unreal Engine than for Fusion Engine, which can be advantageous for game developers. It seems a lot of time was wasted teaching new Hangar 13 developers how to use Fusion Engine. However, now developers familiar with Unreal Engine can jump right into development. Another reason why this job listing is interesting is because it sheds light on the gameplay mechanics for the next Mafia game. It seems in Mafia 4 we can complete missions guns blazing or plan our combat accordingly and commit missions via stealth. Out of all the Mafia games published by 2K Games, only Mafia 3 had a proper stealth combat system where you could choose to knock out enemies or shoot them. It seems the feature to complete missions in multiple ways will be returning in Mafia 4. According to a second LinkedIn job listing, Hangar 13 Games Brighton United Kingdom Studio is looking for a senior systems designer. According to the What We Need section, Hangar 13 is in search of an experienced and highly skilled systems designer who has a passion for player progression systems, economy, and game balance. You enjoy both playing games with deep meta systems and organizing data in Excel. Furthermore, in the Who We Think Will Be a Good Fit section, it says, Experience with AAA titles, multiplayer games, and or live game design experience preferred. According to this job listing, Hangar 13 Games is looking to implement multiplayer and microtransactions for their future title. Now, a lot of gaming articles and YouTubers believe this is referring to Mafia 4, and the next Mafia game will have multiplayer and microtransactions. However, that may not be true. People seem to have forgotten the Kotaku article from May 26, 2022, which said Hangar 13 is focusing on a Mafia prequel and a tennis game. According to this Kotaku article from last year, the next Mafia game will take place in Italy and is a prequel to the first Mafia game. Mafia 1's first mission, an offer you can't refuse, takes place in 1930. So if Kotaku is right again, that means Mafia 4 will take place somewhere in the 1900s to late 1920s. The article said, Some Hangar 13 developers have been shifted onto the Mafia prequel. Others have joined Project Hammer, which Kotaku understands to be a return of the beloved Top Spin Tennis series and is expected to launch before the new Mafia. Hangar 13's new president, Nick Baines, said during the meeting with employees that the plan is for Hangar 13 to focus almost exclusively on both of those franchises moving forward. People seem to have completely forgotten about Top Spin Tennis. Everyone's focus seems to be on the next Mafia game. This LinkedIn job listing does not mention Unreal Engine, so there is a strong possibility this position is for Top Spin 5. 
It's been 12 years since the last Top Spin game. For those who don't know, Top Spin 4 is a 2011 tennis video game that was developed by 2K Check for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Nintendo Wii. It is very likely that Top Spin 5 will have multiplayer and microtransactions similar to the NBA 2K series and the PGA Tour 2K series. Nonetheless, there is a possibility this job listing is referring to Mafia 4. Personally, I believe this job listing is referring to Top Spin 5. Mafia games have always been single-player games. I don't see how microtransactions and multiplayer would fit, unless they introduce a co-op mode similar to the Saints Row games. 2K Games has the worst support history when it comes to the Mafia games. They have still not fixed the bugs and glitches from Mafia 2 Definitive Edition, fixed the bug trophies for Mafia 3, and there is no next-gen port of the Mafia trilogy. If Mafia 4 has multiplayer, 2K Games would abandon the servers a year after launch. In my opinion, this job listing is for the tennis game that everyone seems to have forgotten about. With that being said, Mafia 4 is currently in early development, and we can expect to see a trailer next year in 2024. And the game will most likely be released a year later in 2025. It seems Grand Theft Auto 6 might actually release before Mafia 4. According to Kotaku's article from last year, Top Spin 5 is expected to launch before the new Mafia game, so that means we can expect to see a Top Spin trailer this year. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe below for the latest Mafia 4 news and updates in development. And please share this video to fellow Mafia game fans because everyone seems to think the next Mafia game will have online multiplayer and microtransactions. Sure, there is a possibility that may be true, but it is more likely that is referring to Top Spin 5. It seems everyone has forgotten about the tennis game that Hangar 13 Games is currently working on.